how to uh, do some calculations with sig figs. If you have a calculator, you can take it out. If you don't have one, you might want to come grab one from the basket up here. So calculations involving sig figs. Calculations with sig figs. That's what we're talking about today. So. Yeah, about 15 minutes here, notes-ish, then I'll hand out the homework. So there's only really four calculations you'll do in chemistry. Guess what they are? Operations, I should say. What's a math operation? Adding, or subtracting, or multiplying and dividing, right? There's two different rules for multiplying and dividing and adding and subtracting. So there's one rule for sig figs when you're multiplying and dividing, one rule for adding and subtracting. We're going to do multiplying and dividing first because that's much more important and that's what you do most of the time. Adding and subtracting doesn't really apply too much. It's almost too simple. So anyways, we're going to go over multiplying and dividing first. Um, so I'm going to write two examples, one multiplying, one dividing. We're going to use our calculators, we're going to get the answer, we're going to write the answers down. Then I'm going to round the answers to the proper number of significant figures. There are rules to this. So if you take two numbers or three numbers or five numbers and you divide them or multiply them, whatever you're doing, and you get one answer, you have to round the final answer according to a rule. You haven't learned it yet, but I'm going to show you. So I'm going to give you two examples and see if you can figure out the rule before we actually write it down or before I have to tell you, all right? So let's take... Um, 21.3 liters, let's uh, divide that by, oh, uh, I don't know, let's go 6.4 liters. And we're going to take uh, 0 0.0892 centimeters, multiply it by uh, 1.6 centimeters, multiply it by... 0.0827 centimeters. Just making these numbers up. Use your calculator, get the answer for both of them. Mm. I'm going to put a little wrinkle here. This is liters squared up here, which is a really weird measurement, but that's okay. A bit of a little practice with uh, units as well here. So use a calculator. I want you to write down the entire number. I don't care how many decimal places there are. It fills up the whole calculator, then write them all down. 21.3 divided by 6.4, and then the other, the other one there. OK, you should be done because it's pretty simple. Olivia, what would you get for 21.3 divided by 6.4? 3.3285. 3.3285. And then what? What do you mean squared? Square why is why are we squaring on that number? Because Well, the number's not squared, the unit is. Oh, so it'd be liter squared. Well, this is liter squared divided by liters. Yeah. What's liter squared? It's liters times liters, then divided by liters. So, you tell me. Liters. Liters. Good job. One liter cancels out the other. So this would be just liters. Yes, very good. Okay, uh, the bottom one here, uh, Trevor, what'd you get? I get that one. All right, go ahead and do it. Adam, what'd you get for that one? Trevor, can check, check you. Uh, 0 0.011784. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 0 0.011784. Yep. 390. Yep. Four. Yep. That's it. Okay. That's a squirrely number. What's the uh, unit on that, anybody? Centimeters cubed. Centimeters cubed, yeah, that's a measurement of volume. Centimeters cubed is the same thing as milliliters. Something you should know. 
don't need to know it for like a test, but that's something you should know. Centimeters cubed is the same as a uh, milliliter. So if I was holding a cubic centimeter of water, so like a little cube of water, right? Centimeter on all sides, that's what that means. Cubic centimeter, that's the same amount of space, volume as one milliliter of water. That's what that means. All right. Here is the correct answer, rounding according to the proper significant figure rules. I'm gonna round it, this one and that one, see if you can figure out why I did what I did. This becomes 3.3 liters. This one becomes 0 0.012 centimeters cubed. I'm gonna give you a hint, so go ahead and write those down. Those are the, the real answers using significant figure rules. The hint here is in order to figure out how to round your answer, you have to look at the problem or the numbers in the problem. So we're looking at 21.3, we're looking at 6.4. What do those have to do with that 3.3? Then you're looking at these three numbers. What do these have to do with the 0.012? It has to do with sig figs. Think, think for a minute. While you're doing that, I'll put in, we'll do one more example and then see, then I'll explain the, the rule here. I'm not a fan of using calculators on your phone, but my calculator is out of battery, so I'm just going to use this real fast. When I say not a fan, I mean I don't want you doing it, so I try not to do it as well. Um, okay, that'll work. All right, someone give me the uh, answer for this one down here. I just got it, but I was lazy. You guys can read it to me. Morgan Thomas, what do you got here? Um, point one one three eight eight seven eight. Meters times meters makes it? Meter squared. Meter squared. All right, I'm going to uh, round it to the proper number of sig figs. Here we go. Point one one four. Morgan, you're good back there. You can see all this through there. All right, who knows the rule? What's the rule? I don't really like writing the rule out. A lot of times in chemistry, definitions or rules, if we write it out, you know, just to give it, put it in our notes, that's, that's all, you know, well and good, but it doesn't really help you learn it, I don't think. We'll write it anyway, but I think the, the word, the, the version of just writing it down is like, kind of, Pointless, I think. Seeing it and understanding it is, is better. I'll give you a hint. How many sig figs here, Nicole? Two. Matt, how many here? Uh, two. Two. Aaliyah, how many here? Three. Two, two, three. Okay. So if you were to look at the first two examples, you might say, oh, round it to two sig figs. Nope, because that one has three. Look at the numbers in the problem. What do you think the trick is here? What's the key to one-eyed Willie? Does anyone know that quote? Oh, I am getting older. No one knows it. Do you know it? You do, Watson knows it. All right, good. Save me, Watson. From the Goonies, by the way. Mm. All right, what's the rule? We gotta move on here. Take a guess, educated guess. Nicole. You're getting close. We can't take an average because sometimes that'd be an odd number, but you're you're close. I was gonna say you take the first energy equation and then take the like the amount you take from that and then apply it to that, but that doesn't make sense. 
correct. It doesn't make sense for the person. So, but good try. Good try. We're trying. How many sig figs does 21.3 have? Three. What about 6.4? Two. Okay, what about 0.0892? Three. What about 1.6? Two. What about the next number? Four. What about 2.34? Three. The next one has four. This has three, this has two, this has two. Say it again? That's the answer, Mike. It's the lowest number of sig figs. So in the problem, whichever number has the lowest number of sig figs, that's what your answer has to match. That's the rule. Whichever number has the lowest number of sig figs, your answer matches that. So I can write that down, but I think you're old enough you can write it down from me saying it. Why don't you just go ahead and write that down. So the lowest number of sig figs in the problem, the answer must match that. It's the easiest way to write that. So if the lowest number is two, your answer has two. If the lowest, lowest number is three, the answer has three. If it's four, it's four. 99% of the time, I would, well, maybe 97.5% of the time. Just making that up. But 97.5% of the time, on the regions, if they ask you a significant figure question, it's gonna be two sig figs or three. Almost always it's two or three. So most problems involving calculations in chemistry, you're rounding to two or two or three sig figs. Rarely is it four. I hardly ever do see four. Okay? So that's the rule. When you're uh, multiplying and dividing, you are rounding your numbers, your answer, sorry, so it has the lowest number of sig figs in the problem. Now the way to say that is the number with the lowest number of sig figs, the answer has to match that. Okay, we're good with that? We'll find out because you're going to do the worksheet through Monday. I'm not going to have you do a ton of practice in class. That's what the homework thing. Now, we'll do adding and subtracting quick, and then I'll give you the worksheet. Maybe we'll do a couple together. Okay. Sometimes it gets stuck. Um, and then uh, that'll be it. All right. So adding and subtracting is next. All right. So adding and subtracting. Let's say... Well, I don't want to steal there. All right, let's do this. Let's go uh, 1.34 centimeters plus 10.1 centimeters plus 0 0.079 centimeters. Okay, go ahead and write that down, add them up, get your answer, write out all the decimals. And then I'll do one subtraction. 506.1 milliliters minus, uh, let's go with uh, 49.46 centimeters. So go ahead, get those answers, write down all the numbers. I'll round it, then we'll talk about the rules. Oh yeah, sure. They're they're just doing some simple math here. It might take more a while. That's good. those answers up there. Please, Tom. Thanks. You 
did this, I did it. And that brings you back. Yeah, I just went to the other side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't really know okay. right now. I did it though the other day. It was like that first day of school. I don't remember what I did. But it was an obvious button. Um. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Let me. I can look at it more I later. Thought you'd just be like, yeah. No, sorry, I don't remember. Right. Thanks, Colin. All right, eleven point five one nine, five forty six point six four. All right, what's the unit on eleven point five one nine? Centimeters. How come it's not centimeters cubed? Because it's adding. You're just adding the same unit. All right, down here. It's, oh, <laughs> what I what I do wrong here? You can't take uh, a length measurement away from a volume measurement. <laughs> That's like saying. You know, how tall are you? And you say blue. What? Height isn't a color. Um, doesn't make any sense. So, sorry about that. All right. So, I'm assuming columns, right? Yeah. All right. Here's the real answers. 7.5 centimeters. Uh, or 456.6. So maybe I didn't give you the greatest examples in the world because it appears as if you just simply round to the tenths. That seems like the rule, but that's not the rule. Here's the rule. I'm going to actually write this one down because we got to move on here. So the rule for adding and subtracting, I probably should have switched this one up a little bit. The rule for adding and subtracting is you round the answer. Round the answer to the lowest number of decimal places. So, bless you. Multiplying, dividing, it's all about the number of sig figs. Adding, subtracting has nothing to do with sig figs, actually, it has everything to do with decimal places. This has one decimal place, this has two, so your answer has one. This has two, that has one, that has three, so one wins. You go for the lowest number of decimal places. If you don't really ever fully get this or grasp the adding and subtracting, I'm really not worried about it. Multiplying, dividing is way more important. Okay. So I gave you an example. There's the rule. Use your notes to do this worksheet. The bell's going to ring soon, so i got to get this out to you. So this is due Monday, front and back. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just do um, the front. It's kind of overkill doing doing the back too. Right here. So look up here, where it says significant figure number two. That's the front. Do just the front. Okay. I'll put the text out um, to remind you. Do just the front. Have a good weekend. Anybody uh, has some sort of games?